If you are exploring the Java new features, then check out this feature. This can blow your mind and this can really help you to crack Java interview. So imagine you have a class called student and you have a couple of variables called ID and name. Now, how do we initialize these variables? Obviously, we need to create a constructor. Now we can instantiate a student using a constructor. But right now, let's say if I want to print out the name of the student, obviously I don't have any getters available. So I will go to my student class and I will create the getters for the variables. I can call the getter here. And now if I'm gonna run this, I get the name printed. Let's say if I want to print the entire student reference, this is going to print the Haskell representation of the student object. But let's say if I want to print the content, then again, I have to go to the student class and here I have to create the two string method. And now if I'm gonna run the same class, I got the content printed instead of the reference. Now let's say if I have a student and if I have a copy of the same student, and right now if I wanna check whether two of these objects are equal by doing student one equals student two, then this is going to print false because it is comparing the object references, not the content that I have over here. In order to overcome this, we can override the has code and equals over here inside the student class. Now, if we're gonna run this code, this is going to print true because we're actually comparing the contents of both of these objects. Now, what if I'll tell you, whenever you're designing a class like this and writing all these getters, has code, equals, constructor, you actually don't have to do this. If you are going to use the Java new feature, which is Java records, you can simply remove all this thing and can convert this class to a special class called record and define your variables inside this parenthesis. Something like this. Isn't it so clean and cool? And see the beauty of this. If you're going to run the same code to check the equality between this couple of students, it returns true because we by default get the has code and equals overridden in the record. Just like that, our constructor works. So the constructors are also auto-generated in order to initialize the variables that we have inside the record. And not only that, let's say from the student one, I want to access the name, then I can simply call the name method over here in order to get the name. Or I can simply call the ID over here to get the ID. And if you're wondering about setters, the records are immutable in nature. So once you create the record object, you actually can't change it. So the setters are not available and you won't be getting any set ID method over here. Now here goes a question for you. As Java record is around, do you think Project Lombok is going to be dead? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.